Now to an egg that triggers avalanches. Tonight we're getting an inside look at new technology CDOT is using to protect us from those mountain snow slides. Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson got to load one of these devices today. And Spencer, CDOT shared with you that this really makes it a lot easier to set off the slides when no one's on the road. Yeah, Karen and Jim, for the old method, you'd need more crew members and you actually needed daylight to see where you're shooting those explosives to set off the avalanches. Now they can just push a button on either a phone or a computer, have it all remote, and they can do it in the middle of the night, which means that they can have it all cleared up by the time anyone's out on the roads. That's why they're trying to add more of these. It looks a lot like a space capsule or a big egg, but inside it's primed to explode. Heavy and awkward, my two favorite things. Loaded with one part oxygen and two parts hydrogen with 20 detonations per refill. And I'll tilt it towards you. The Obelix gas exploder sparks the gas combo just above the snow. The explosion comes out the bottom of it. That explosive wave is enough to shake loose avalanches, even more effectively than the old method of simply launching explosives up the hill with the avalancher. This is the avalancher okay. right here. Basically a big potato cannon. You're doing it from the safety and the comfort of a pickup truck. You know, you're warm. You don't, you know, your finger, your hands are warm, right? You're, you're doing avalanche control without gloves on and, and, it, and it's way less manpower intensive. The crews much prefer the remote eggs. An increase in speed and efficiency. And then the cleanup happens and the roads open to the public and ready to go by, you know, sunrise. So it just allows us to be a lot more efficient in our operations, a better level of service to the public. The only issue. We'll just put a strap in here. These aren't cheap, but CDOT believes the cost is worth the benefits. You know, the demand on the transportation system has never been greater. Places where we can make improvements to the, the service we provide to the public, you know, to move commerce, provide better, safer roads. We're all about that. They have 50 remote avalanche exploders throughout the state, but they are hoping to add more in the future. Live in Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. We just keep saying how cool that is. Spencer, thanks so much for that. And